Hi everybody, I'm Holly Granger, live from the Timing Food Studios in Birmingham, Alabama, here for Southern Living to share an exciting, delicious spring recipe, perfect for entertaining. Now hopefully you saw me last Monday, I was sharing my strawberry mango salsa, and I'm back this week to share another exciting recipe. But let me go ahead and tell you, please bear with me, I am losing my voice but I have done everything humanly possible to make it here today to share this recipe with you. Go ahead in the comments and share where you're from. We are so excited that you guys are here with us watching the videos today and hope you'll tune in every time we're on live sharing fun cooking demos. Today I'm gonna to start by making my asparagus, zucchini, and carrot ribbon salad. You'll see in the comments that Southern Living will leave the link to this recipe so you can go right to it and find out all the steps on how to make it. But I want to go ahead and show you how to demo this recipe because it's really fun. I'm a registered dietitian and a mom, and this is a recipe that my children will actually eat. There's quite a few veggie recipes that they turn their noses up to, but this is one that they love because they can help. I've taught my four-year-old how to use a vegetable peeler, so whenever I make this recipe, it's her favorite go-to. So you start by just using a zucchini. Hopefully pretty soon they'll be nice and fresh in your garden. I just trim off the edges and then use whatever vegetable peeler you like and you just want to go around the edges. You don't have to peel off all the skin. I do like a little bit of skin on there. but Just get some of that extra off. Just move this to the side. And then you want to make long thick ribbons. So if you've ever made zucchini pasta, this is one way to do it. I actually sometimes will take this, these zucchini ribbons throw them in boiling water and use them as noodles. It's a delicious substitute. But for this salad, it tastes so good. You just pile them up on each of your plates. This recipe makes about four servings. I'm just gonna make two for you today. I'll do a couple more. You wanna use about two zucchini for the entire recipe, but it really just depends on the size of your zucchini and how many people you're feeding. I love this recipe for a party brunch, for a ladies lunch. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll add chicken or shrimp just to dress it up, give it a little bit of protein and make it an entree salad. So the base are these beautiful ribbons and you can see I've left some of this green on just to give it some nice color. Add a few more to this plate. We don't want to shortchange them. A few more and again, if you have children, this is a great way to get them involved in this recipe. So you make your ribbons. It's very visual too. So I'll set this to the side. Next, I'm gonna use my asparagus. The some asparagus right now are really skinny and thin. So if that's the case, you may even be able to just slice it in half or just use the entire asparagus. These are a little bit thicker. So what you wanna do after you've washed your asparagus is just find the natural break. This woody stem right here, that's not a part you wanna eat. That's kinda of tough, but asparagus will naturally break right at that stem. So you don't even have to find it, you can just give it a nice gentle bend and it will snap on its own. So what I like to do for the asparagus, it's a little bit more difficult, not really, but to hold it in the air. So just leave it laying flat on your board and in the same way that you shaved your zucchini, just shave the asparagus. And you'll see it starts, when you start getting to that little bit of bottom piece, it, it's a little bit more difficult to shave. So when that's the case, I just usually break it in half and we use that as a, as a pretty garnish. That top part looks so nice. You can kind of stand that up and then add your little ribbons to the salad. I'll do a couple more. You can quickly just shave these and add them to your salad. This is a recipe that I use all the time when I do cooking demos because it's just another fun way to present a delicious recipe with foods that you probably already have in your garden or that are easy to find at the farmer's market or your grocery store, and they're packed with nutrition. So the dietitian in me is definitely giving it a two thumbs up. All right, I'll add a little bit more ribbon here. We'll just set these to the side. And then finally, your carrot. Now you can also use squash in this recipe if you want. And my family right now, we are big on rainbow carrots. So I don't know if you've ever seen those before. The rainbow carrots are purple carrots. They also have white carrots. But they're purple and when you shave them, the inside is orange. So that's really fun um, and just beautiful with the salad just to have that extra pop of color. Today I'm just using 
some orange carrots, just your traditional carrots, but you want to peel off the edges, peel off that outside layer, and then same thing, just shave your carrots. You want to try to get as thick a piece as possible. That color just looks so nice, and you can curl these however you want. I like to give them a little bit of curl just for some color and add a texture. Sometimes it helps when you're uh, peeling it to just press it on the board. That way you can get a little bit of leverage. There we go. And a little bit, add a little bit more strength to get a thicker curl. All right, there we go. If you were making this for a group, you could certainly just plate up each time you, you do your ribbons. I'll add one more here. And I like to go in and kind of fuss with it. You can even make these into flowers and get fancy, but we're going to keep it simple. All right, next, add a little bit more color, a little bit more attrition. Have some grape tomatoes. Just peel a few of those. I peel, slice a few more of these on here. Just a little bit more delicious. Now, if you're just tuning in, we are live in the Southern Living Time, Inc. studios here in Birmingham, Alabama. And I am making an asparagus zucchini and carrot ribbon salad that is awesome for entertaining it's one of those things that your guests are going to walk in and say wow and remember all right so we have the salad here finally i'm just going to add some olives this is where you can customize to how you want to make it sometimes i'll add red onion sliced really thin sometimes instead of olives i'll add capers whatever you have on hand and whatever is fresh from your garden, even bell peppers, you can peel those as well. It all tastes delicious and looks beautiful. This is really one of those salads that you can use whatever you want. All right, I'm gonna add some goat cheese. Feta works really well with this as well. And I just like to use goat cheese. I just dollop a few little pieces of goat cheese right on. That's a big piece of goat cheese. Let's cut that guy in half. That's the piece I would want. That's the salad I would be choosing if I was gonna sit down at the table. And usually with goat cheese like this, when it's soft, I just use my fingers. Just make sure you have clean hands if you're about to serve guests. All right, a little bit of goat cheese. And then finally, to make the vinaigrette, it's so simple. I like to use some Dijon mustard. This is about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. That acts as the emulsifier for the dressing to help hold it all together. And then I'll add some balsamic vinegar. You can also use red wine vinegar if you prefer. And then I like to add a little bit of lemon juice for some freshness. So just roll it on your board. That helps to burst all those little cells inside the lemon just to help extract even more juice. Throwing things now. Can you see that on camera? All right. All right, now this lemon does have some seeds. So one trick that I like to do when I'm getting some lemon juice out of my lemon is instead of turning it over and the seeds fall into the bowl, just squeeze it upside down. So those seeds come up to the top and you can catch them before they go into the bowl. There we go. So some nice fresh lemon juice to brighten up the flavor. And then finally, I'm gonna whisk in my olive oil. So just slowly whisk all of this together. And you can see it comes together, just with a few tablespoons of olive oil. I usually go about three to one olive oil to balsamic vinegar, sometimes one to one. Just depends on the flavor I'm going for. All right, let me taste that, see how it Mm, that's perfect. And I love the little spicy hint that the Dijon mustard adds. So you can see this is a nice creamy balsamic vinaigrette. The Dijon mustard helps to give it that creamy texture without any added fat. It's a great way of making your own vinaigrette to cut sugar, cut fat from your salads, all while giving it a ton of fresh flavor. So I'm just going to spoon some of this onto my salad. This vinaigrette's one of those recipes that I love to make, and I'll just make it in a mason jar and shake it up and leave it in my fridge. It can last up to a week. Just make sure you shake it each time before serving. And then you have it on hand, and it, it beats store-bought dressings hands down every time, and it's so simple. Finally, garnish with some fresh cracked black pepper. And then I like a little sprinkle of floor de sol. The bigger grinds of salt just give it a little bit more taste and texture, but you can certainly use kosher salt or whatever you have on hand. And that's it. Simple, easy, fresh, 
and guaranteed to please your guests at your spring parties. Now, I would love for you guys to find this recipe. You can find it on my blog. I'm also highlighting it on my Facebook page. I'd love for you to find that as well. It's Holly Granger Nutrition. Southern Living has tagged me, so go over to my page. I have tons of simple and fresh recipes just like this. I also do a lot for the parents, so I'm constantly sharing lunchbox ideas, nutrition ideas for kids. So if that's an area that you're interested in, definitely check out my page. Also be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Southern Living. You'll be blasted with the best, not blasted overly, but always given the best, most delicious Southern recipes you can find. It, this is the time that we at Southern Living are about to just get so excited because of the beautiful produce and flavor that's hitting markets and stands right now. So for the best summer Southern recipes, you guys know Southern Living is the place to be. I want you guys to mark your calendars now and make sure to tune in next Monday. I'll be on every Monday in May at 1230 Central sharing some of my favorite recipes from the blog, the ones that are fresh, healthy, and absolutely delicious. Next week, we have another delicious appetizer that's perfect for entertaining. And the following week, we'll be, um, I'll be sharing one of my favorite Memorial Day sides that's guaranteed to be a hit at your Memorial Day party. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Don't forget to go like Holly Granger Nutrition as well as Southern Living and be sure to check out this recipe. If you try it and you make it, let me know. T send me pictures. I always am trying to interact. I love to engage with you and certainly leave the comments that you might have on this video and I'll try to get back or Southern Living will be there. Any questions and comments you have as well. You guys take care and have a great week.